Hey, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Supreme Medium Diviner. I am here today giving you a mediumship channeling on Rich Homie Kwan, who died yesterday, September the 5th. I know you guys have been requesting and waited patiently. And so here we are today with the mediumship channeling. Um, before we get started, if you have not subscribed to me, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that uh, bell so you can get notified when I drop a video. And please um, share this information. It's very, very, very important that we get this out here because um, I'm assuming you know you guys are his fans. And this is important for him to be able to let you guys understand where he is and what's going on with him. So I did two channelings of Rich Homie Kwan, okay? Um, one I did just on the surface and one I did by my spirit, going to his spirit um, while I was sleeping. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and start with the one that I went to his spirit. I met him where he was while I'm sleeping. Um, he was already dead when his girlfriend took his children to school on yesterday the reason why i know that is because he went with them in the car his spirit was in the car with them when they rode to the school i know a lot of you guys want to know what happened to him and we'll get to that where he is right now um from what he showed me is that right now as of today he is in a memory he's back in a memory of when his youngest child was first born that's where he chooses to stay at right now okay um it has not been three complete days the third day will be tomorrow he may be somewhere else but right now he's in that memory after three days is when we kind of want to be um we'll be sure of where his whereabouts are okay he also um traveled a little bit right after he died too um but right now as of last night he's in that memory a lot of times they stay in that memory because they don't want to accept their death so let's get into what caused his death what i see is that he had two cups in his hand um the color of the contents in the cut cup seemed to be a brownish color to me one of the cups spilled one did not um they were very filled to the top there's a woman that um looks at him while he has these cups and to me she looks to be like somebody in the industry not really big but in the industry and she raps a little bit and um he shows me her while he's drinking these cups this does not mean that he's with her but this is the time frame that he showed me this woman then he skips to being in the car with his kids um on the way to school and it looks like one of the kids spilled some a drink it looked like a red drink to me something that a child would drink something like hawaiian punch or something like that then he shows me something out of a mailbox it looks like it's an apartment complex um the the item in the mailbox it seems to be kind of like uh, messed up scrunched up a little bit but it has something to do with kids in their grades like a report card that came in the mail but it looks old like it had been in there for a long time then he's showing me this man that i'm following behind and where i'm going behind this man and the the thing that i noticed the most is these red rusty doors okay and i'm following behind the man but he tells me to come back it's not safe he says come back don't follow him so i come back then it goes to there's a woman um, that has an inst she's showing somebody on Instagram and another woman shows up and this woman that shows up is very stern and she's like didn't I tell you not to do that and there's a man sitting across from the woman who had the Instagram and the woman that said didn't I tell you not to do that she was she was pretty mad about um, this Instagram I can't see what was on the Instagram but something about it, Rich Homie Kwan, he did not like. So two things. He did not, uh, he was very unsettled about the Instagram situation. And he was very unsettled about the woman that he showed me after um, he showed me the cups. I also saw a strip club. Um, it was some women who were naked um, that he showed me as well. So he showed me all of this when I asked him what happened to him. 
He did not show me anything with him. I know they say he was on the couch when he died. He didn't show me anything about that. The, the things that I told you is how it went, okay? So, let's go into where I saw him when I channeled him while I was awake. I went and found him. Yesterday, he was very angry. He was so angry. There was a red door that he was kicking um, saying, you know, you know, motherfuckers let me in. He's saying they took something from him. And in front of this red door, it's like this white step, okay? And he had a lot to say. He told me that, you know, he had an issue with Young Thug. He told me he has an issue with Gucci Man, And he said he wants to get them. So, I, I don't know what was going on there. Of course, I know about the trial with Young Thug, but I don't know how far back this goes in the situation. But he did mention their names. Um, he also kept saying something that sounded like um, Bamberg and, and Monster of Mont. Something with M-O-T. I kept saying M-O-T, and it sounded like he kept saying like Monster. And I did hear something that said, he said Bamberg. So, I don't know what those two things mean. Um <clears throat> Like I said, he constantly was kicking this door. So, um, he goes to where he was sitting on the couch um, in this part of my channeling of him. And he shows me a white man that's standing in front of him. And um, this white man gives him a bag, a little small bag like that, that has like a little small, tiny, tiny pill on the inside of it. And at first, I'm like, you know, okay. Somebody like gave him this, but once I started telling him more, I realized this is some type of like um in his mental, some type of hallucination. And he was saying, like, um, I should have just I would have been better off going going with a fight, meaning like he shouldn't have done this to himself. He should have just let them kill me. So I, I don't know if somebody was after him. He never went into detail about that, but that's what he said. And he also kept reiterating that they took everything from me they took everything from me and then that's when he goes back and he starts kicking this red door and um i don't know where the red door is coming from behind the red door is very dark so th this is a vision that he's given me so he's traveled somewhere where this means something to him okay so so two things that you should get out of this um reading with rich homie call and i'll do another one after the third day to see exactly where he is okay he's in a memory where um his youngest son is first born he was very very tiny um he's there because that what makes him feel safe and secure it's like a happy moment i did see other family members around so obviously people come and visit you when you have kids so that's something that brings him comfort so you need to understand that's why he's right there okay um like I said, two things that he showed me when he was uneasy was when, he, you know, he had the cup. He showed me the woman and um, she's kind of looking at him, side out of him and, you know, somebody that's in the industry. And um, also, you know, how he told me to come back when I was following this man. Um, and also, you need to know that, you know, for that moment of time, he probably died right before the kids went to school because... Typically what happens is the spirit will actually leave the body for a few moments and then it'll come back within like four hours before rigor mortis starts in. So he probably died a little bit right before the kids went to school because he, he was in the car. His spirit was there. He wanted to go with them to school. Um, I feel like the paper that he showed in the mailbox that to me it looked like it had some grades on it. It was old. Um, means something. So if anybody can fill in the gaps, you know, if that's for his family, that was something important because he made sure that I looked at the paper and I could see. It. I cannot see the number of the apartment that it um that it belonged to, but after he showed me the paper, that's when I followed the man that um was going um towards um an apartment. He he went down a, like a breezeway, and then he um turned right, and the man was very tall. He had on a hat and he was brown skin, and he was like, "No, come back." don't he didn't want me to go okay so it was something and it gave me a sense of fear it was something that was fearful about um this part that he showed me okay and um he he, he he's angry 
Um, and I'm assuming that's why he went back to the memory because it's something about his death that doesn't sit right with him. Um, I do see that it was something that, you know, he did, but it's some reasons behind it. I don't want to say that he committed suicide. I don't see that he committed suicide, but he does regret what he did. And he did, he kept saying that, um, I should have went down with the fight. I shouldn't have, you know, gave into it like this. The, the white man was a very strong presence that um, he was showing me that he was seeing. Um, it gave me the sense that it was um, symbolizing the in industry. Okay, it was symbolism of the industry. So there's a lot of things to kind of dive into, and I'm really going to get into that. But right now, I didn't want to press him too much because... He was forthcoming, even though he did just pass, he was forthcoming, but I didn't want to do too much because, again, his emotions, especially yesterday, very angry. And then, you know, he was nice enough to um, allow me to, um, you know, probe his spirit and show me certain things and whatnot so I could give you guys this information. So, um, dissect whatever I said. Um, you know, if anybody knows his story what's going on i'm sure people do um fill me in because i didn't know much about him i only knew about him you know with a couple of songs and of course what's going on with young thug and his trial um and also you know the situation with his father so you know limited information but i think there's a lot to unravel here and um we may make this a series i may keep up with him for a little while i know for sure that i will give you guys another reading um after the third day which will be tomorrow i will give you guys another one to see if he's shares more information so again um thank you for um coming back to my channel if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe go ahead and hit that bell so you can be notified when i drop a video and i will talk to you guys next time bye